yeah, and, yeah. And then there's there's other people that fought on that same undercard that are that have multiple fights. They're like black belts in different like karate forms and stuff like that. And the the guy who of KSI wants me to fight, like their fight got around like seven hundred thousand viewers on the reupload. The, the uh, there's another guy named Face Sensei who's got a million uh, follow, uh, views on the reupload of his fight. So I think that between those two, those are legitimate fighters who have trained before. They're they've fought on this undercard. People know who they are. Sensei, tell me what what did you? Just Get. So, I guess Jake Paul has lost his mind. He's trying to convince Eddie Hearn to have me as his opponent because they think that face is pole is big. And I guess he thinks he can fight me. This kid must be crazy. But I'm talking to Logan right now. Logan told me that um, on the podcast tomorrow, he tries to convince Eddie that I'm the one, that I can be the opponent. Oh my so, God. And I'm getting my pro license. Um, that's not that hard. So, we're going to talk to my team about that before this, actually. If, Jake, if Jake's up for it, man, more power to him. Let's do it. November 9th. That's, bro, ah, that's so soon. Phase up, bro. That is what we call phase up. Uh, so when are you starting training? Just to make sure. I don't even think I'm going to train. This way it makes it more even. Shut the fuck up. No, I'm just kidding. I'll respect, I'll respect Jake. Um, I'm going to train. I'm just going to train. I'm going to have fun training. I'm going to enjoy this whole process. I'm going to train hard. Um, have fun boxing and do what I do. It's bro. gonna be entertaining. If you this know, happens, this tomorrow's the day that we're gonna lock this down. Phase is gonna come out. They're gonna promote the heck out of it. They're gonna they're gonna blow up. It's gonna be it's gonna be Sensei versus Jake, trending, bro. A hundred percent. JJ's gonna have to react to it. What's gonna be good? I'm gonna come out Team JJ now. I'm gonna need Jeff Mayweather. I'm gonna need the whole squad to be. I think that even though Jake won, Deji won the night that event. See, Jake won. Yeah. Everyone thought he was gonna, he was going to. So Deji won, in, like, in the eyes of the crowd. So I think that if he takes on someone like me, if it's competitive, that might be his angle. Um, and more power to him. You know, I'll be Ivan Drago. I'll be Floyd Mayweather, and he can be Connor. We'll see if he can pull the upset. Jake will be the underdog. I think it'll be good for him. I think it'll be good for him to be the underdog, you know? Okay, did we just see that clip? As you guys know, I've been working with Sensei for years now. For literally five years with Face Fitness, on Face Clan, and also on his channel, on videos, filming for him, going to KSI's house to spar with him for the very first time. Dude, I've been involved in this whole thing since the beginning. Obviously less prominent than everybody else. Let's be real here. I'm just doing my thing right now. Don't blame me. And when Sensei was helping JJ out for the first time, I went to London, I went to the silent house with Sensei, filmed the whole weekend for him, and obviously at the fight in Manchester, quick flex, I was there as well, ringside, filming for Sensei, and uh, being there throughout the whole journey. So, so anyways, that's just not important right now. Since the first fight, we've been talking almost every day nonstop about the rematch. Everybody's been waiting for a rematch and you guys know it's happening, it's going on, it's amazing, it's big, it's a pro fight, Eddie Hearn promotes it, it's huge. So firstly, when Eddie Hearn said he doesn't want any YouTubers, just world-class boxing on the undercard, me and Sensei were like, fuck! We didn't know what to feel about it, but in the end, business is business and whatever makes the most sense, makes the most sense. JJ said to Jake Paul, that if he wants to fight, he should fight a Nissan Gibb. And honestly, this is a fight I would love to see happen. I like Gibb's energy, I like Gibb a lot. It doesn't really make sense for Jake. It does make sense for Gibb, but for Jake, it's a lose-lose kind of situation because if he wins, they're gonna say, well, he's a bigger fighter, he's a bigger guy, so obviously you could win a fight. And if he loses, he loses, right? So it's also a lose-lose situation for him. But now, apparently, on Impulsive, Jake Paul is pleading to Eddie Hearn because obviously Jake Paul wants to be involved, of course. Jake Paul is pleading to Eddie Hearn, the promoter of the fight, to fight face Sensei. Let's do that again. Jake Paul is pleading to Eddie Hearn that he wants to fight, physically get in war with face Sensei. Face Sensei, Face Sensei, 15 years of experience in martial arts, pro kickboxing fights, been in many fights. Face Sensei versus Jake Paul. But if you think about it, right, it makes a lot of sense for Jake Paul to do it. Obviously, Sensei has a huge platform. Also, he has the backing of Face, which business-wise is huge. 
if Face Clan's involved, and every member obviously is going to be involved, if a Face Clan member is fighting Jake Paul, it makes a lot of sense, business-wise. But also, on the competitive side for Jake Paul, obviously he's the underdog in this fight, right? It's, he is the underdog, he is the less of a good fighter, he's less experienced. So if he loses to Sensei, nobody's going to be surprised. Everybody's going to be like, oh well, it's Face Sensei, he has a lot of experience, it's boxing, it's no head guards, it's 10 ounce gloves, it's gonna be a battle, but obviously Sensei came up on top. But if he wins, just imagine if he wins, he wins. I guess the public as well, guys. Imagine if Jake Paul takes on Sensei, everybody's gonna be like, well, that's stupid, or they're gonna say like, well, that's a freaking challenge. And you cannot blame a person for taking on a challenge. In the public opinion, in the public eye, that's usually a good thing. And if you're the underdog, people like the underdog more because they want to see that rocky story. They want to see that upset, you know? People love an underdog story. But yeah, anyways, we don't know exactly what he said yet. So let's jump into Pulsive and uh, see exactly what he said because I'm very, very curious. Okay, I am in my computer right now and I am currently uh, looking for the piece where Jake Paul, does he come in somewhere? Oh, there he is. Okay. And then there's there's other people that fought on that same undercard that are that have oh. multiple fights that are like black. There you go. I think he's gonna say black belts. Black belts and different like karate forms and stuff like that. And the the guy who of KSI wants me to fight like their fight got around like seven hundred thousand viewers on the reupload. The, the uh, there's another guy named Face Sensei who's got a million uh, follow, uh, views on the reupload of his fight. So I think that between those two, those are legitimate fighters who have trained before. They're they've fought on this undercard. People know who they are. I understand your point with like fighting like a. I feel uh, this is so awesome that Jake Jake is pleading to Eddie Hearn right now. Like, listen, I need to be on this undercard. I need to be right there and I need to fight. And it's either any Sun Gib or Face Sensei. I'm gonna see what he else needs to say. See me fight someone that they know of, a name, a name person that they'd be like, oh, I know who that is. Even when the influencers that wanna fight, I think this mm. is, I think we are on, on the brink of like something huge where in, influencers are training and wanting to do this and, and it becomes a legitimate thing. This is true. This is very, very true. Take, Jake is, like, I think, the thing with what the Eddie is doing right now with the professional fight, obviously, is very good for boxing. But I feel like more people would be excited about the boxing event if there was other, like, more YouTubers. Because the last time, it felt like a YouTube event. It was like the community came together and watched these guys fight in a professional matter, not like fist fight in the street or whatever. But like in a, in a sports matter, they were fighting. So this is a good point. Mm. We agree. We want you to fight. The, the success of this event will will show us we want you to fight oh my god please all right that's all about that jake and logan and eddie hearn say about it i'm curious to see where this goes because jake put now sense his name out of there and um dude i'm excited if you're new to the channel like subscribe for notification uh, put the notifications on there will be more fitness content related i will go over jj okay size uh bulking and cutting diet if you want me to so please if you want to see that subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys later deuces